So to make caponata, normally I wouldn't use a wok. Not very Italian, I know, but I've been given a wok to cook with. So let's get on with it. So um, the essential thing is a little bit of onion, a little bit of celery. Uh, we've got some aubergines cut up here. We've got some zucchini, some tomatoes, um, and a few capers and olives. Now, the thing about caponata is you need the agridolce, the sweet and sour taste. So you get the sweetness from all of the peppers, the tomatoes, the zucchini, and then you get that slight saltiness and the sourness from the olives and the capers. So we'll start off with a little bit of um, nice olive oil. The pan is incredibly hot, so we'll go in. So a nice amount of olive oil. Caponata should be full of delicious oil. The oil should be uh, seasoned as you're cooking it. So first of all, we'll go with the celery and onion to we'll turn up our heat. And then we're just going to let that cook for a second. Just stir that so the celery and onion cook. And the thing about caponata is it takes a little bit of time. I mean, the whole thing takes about 45 minutes to an hour. And the flavor comes from cooking it slowly. It's not a fast cook. It's not frying things really, really quickly. It's like gradually adding each ingredient as you go along. So the celery and onions cooking. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt just to sort of get some of the water out of the celery and onion. And then we can let that sort of cook down. And so the sort of steam of the, of the, in the pan will start cooking the celery and onion. And then we're going to add the uh, aubergines. So we'll start adding the aubergines. So we're going to get all the flavor into that, into the aubergines by adding a bit more oil. So let's just cook that for a second. And then we'll start cutting up our peppers. So the aubergines go in a second. So these peppers, we're just going to cut down lengthways and then cut into, into three. And then I'm just going to take away any of the sort of white bits and any seeds. But can you see, have you ever seen a pepper with no seeds in it like that? I mean, it, these, these peppers are incredible. So we cut those bits off and then we're going to cut it into small pieces. Now, the secret of a good caponata is to make sure that everything's cut, cut about the same size. So it cooks evenly. So that's cooking nicely. Give that a little toss. And then we're going to add our aubergines. In they go, too, too many. And then we'll start cooking those on the, on the high heat. Add a little bit more olive oil so the aubergines can cook nicely. So in it goes. And then we're gonna cut our peppers up. So we've got our yellow peppers. So we just cut them in strips. So try and do them the same sort of size as the aubergine, so it's like that kind of size. So we're just using a sharp knife, just cut the peppers into pieces like so. And then we're going to add those to the aubergine. So everything starts to cook together. So you get all those lovely sweet flavors of the peppers, the onion, the celery adds a really distinctive taste. And then near the end, we're going to add those lovely olives and capers. So in it goes. You can see it's starting to sort of steam away. And then we're going to give that a stir. So everything starts to cook together. As I said, I've never made caponata in a wok, but anyway, this is, a, this is something new. Okay, so keep adding that. So just start letting that cook down. And as I said, it takes a bit of time. So we're gonna sort of just let it cook gently. And then we're gonna add all the other ingredients. So we add um, some zucchini. So a little zucchini, mm -hmm. just cut it about the same size as the aubergine. In it goes. And then give that a good stir and a toss so everything's cooking together. This is like a stew. It's like something that's cooked together. It's all about the flavors, all cooking nicely together. So give that a toss. And then let that keep cooking down. Add a little bit more oil. So make sure that starts to really start to fry. And then we're gonna wait for our tomatoes to go in. See? Uh, we've got the, the uh, aubergines are starting to be get cooked, let's fill them. Yeah, they're starting to get tenderer. And then just give that a good stir. Now we're going to add the tomatoes. So it's all cooking nicely. I've just got some uh, lovely ripe plum tomatoes. You can use tomato passata. Uh, you can use any kind of tomato. But it's sort of quite nice to sort of fresh. And then at this point I'm going to add a little bit of basil. So you get a little bit of fresh basil. And then we're just going to chop up the basil. 
and just get that flavor, that slight anisey flavor in with those aubergines, peppers, tomatoes, and zucchini. So give that a toss again. I think it's probably gonna need a little bit of seasoning. We'll just try it with a fork. It needs a bit more salt. So a bit more salt goes in. And then just keep stirring that. Keep that going. Uh, yeah, nice to see you. So these are just yeah, gonna nice go to in. And that's really going to add a huge amount of flavor to this caponata. And then we'll put the lid on, just give that a toss again. And then, and then we just let that cook for probably like another 10, 15 minutes. But this is pretty much what you want. It's a kind of beautiful stew of all those vegetables, all cooked nicely. And you can smell, can you smell the capers and the olives? I certainly can't, it's in my face, but. Oh my God, it's delicious. A bit more salt. And that's kind of it. I'm just going to put it on low heat and let that sit and cook nicely.